I just got one of those new Mac Mini M4 computers, and this is not a review of that computer. I am not a computer reviewer, and I, I don't care. I, they're great, whatever. But with that, I thought I would talk about the seven programs that I install on my new computers as soon as I get them to be better at what I do, and that is to be a efficient photographer. I do, obviously, like as soon as I get the computer, Photoshop, Lightroom, Resolve, the driver for like my Wacom tablet, like fonts. Those kind of things are kind of a no-brainer. But these are the seven programs beyond that that I have found to be super useful and hopefully you do too. Some of them are free, some of them cost money, some of them do have affiliate links and I'll be super clear when I do. But no matter what, these are my opinions and I like all of these programs and I think they're worth checking out. The first program I install every time when I get a new computer is JPEG Mini. JPEG Mini is a program that makes JPEG Mini or I would take a file that's probably in the 20 megabytes size when it gets exported and bring it down to be like an 8 megabyte file. That's super useful because I don't like burning hard drive space for no particular reason and nor do my clients. So it's great. It doesn't affect quality at all and I've used it for years. Um, I bought it through the app Mac App Store forever ago and so that's why I think my version looks a little bit different than the current version which you can get off of their website and there's probably a holiday sale. Um, so I don't have any affiliate links on that one or anything like that, but it's great. Highly recommend. The second program that I install is Power Keys. Power Keys is the tool that I use to like edit all of my photos and I can use my keyboard to do practically everything and like a little bit of mouse work, but I don't have to be like dragging sliders and back and forth because I think that using my hand to hit keys and stuff is so much faster. Like, I just type faster than I use a mouse. I made a whole video of how awesome this program is and they keep making it more awesomer. Go check out that video. And if you are interested, you can get $10 off your subscription by using the code JTobias in, in checkout. All the information is down below. You know how this works. This is an affiliate link. Thank you. The next program is this one. It is totally free called Grand Perspective. And what it does is that it visually maps out the way that your hard drive space is being used. I am a visual person and so being able to see how it's being used is really useful. This does not show how much space is allotted. I still need to like use the get info whatever to see how much space is available, but I've like already used like half of the hard drive space on this little computer because I'm a cheapo and I didn't buy the bigger hard drive. So I look over here and I'm like, I would like to figure out how to save space on my hard drive. Well, what's this giant square? Let's check it out. Oh, that's Resolve. That's important. Mm, this one, That's Lightroom. Also important this what, what the heck is this well let's check it out i can get the quick look here oh it's those like apple 4k screensaver things that feels like a waste to me and i'm gonna figure out how to make it go away because i don't care but like being able to see it is super useful and i can see that that giant box there if i can make that go away that's probably gonna save me quite a bit of space similar to making things go away i use this little program called app cleaner i'm installing and uninstalling programs and testing them out all the time and so i use this one to delete them because when you like delete a program, sometimes the little files get left around, and so this thing helps clean up all the extra stuff to make sure that that program is gone gone, and you don't have to think about it anymore. Also, totally free. As soon as I get a new computer, I install the Spider software, which is the driver for my calibrator, which I use to calibrate my monitors. That was like kind of important when I was mostly working with my old iMac, but it's really important now that I would have like third-party monitors, this is a Dell, that's a Samsung, I still work on my MacBook Pro. I would like all of those screens to look the same and to look good. So I use this thing to make sure everything matches and everything is balanced and uh, it's super important. I honestly bought that thing like forever ago and I had to dig through the bowels of the data color website to find the version because the current version is different and stuff, but it still works and it still is free and or like I paid for it a long time and then they're not making me pay for it again. So go buy that thing ahead of time and it'll be great. The next program that I install is Aftershoot. Aftershoot is an AI culling program that is fantastic. I, at the end of a wedding, I unloaded all the photos onto my laptop and I run Aftershoot, like it's sitting in the passenger seat of my car as I'm driving home. So like I get home and I have my little hard drive and all of the photos from the wedding are culled. It's not perfect. Like, especially if you did int intentional blurry stuff or intentional out of focus or like double exposures. So you do need to go back through and look through it and make sure that it didn't miss anything. Um, 
and I'm still trying to come up with ways in my mind to like document when I do those moments just so that stuff doesn't get forgotten. As far as calling goes, it's fantastic and I highly recommend it. There is an affiliate link down below, so check it out. They do have editing and stuff as well, which I've toyed with, but I don't currently use. I'm sure it's great, I just don't use it. Five years ago, before like the AI stuff came out, uh, Photo Mechanic was kind of the gold standard that everybody used. And honestly, I still install it on my computer for one hyper-specific use. And that's, I don't do any calling on it anymore I don't, for, for at all. But I'm a terrible speller. And I cannot count how many times I have exported an 800 photo wedding and then realized that I misspelled the groom's name. That's where Photo Mechanic comes in because it is the easiest way to rename things. Open the folder, highlight all the photos, command M, and you can open the renaming sector there and fix it in like three seconds. And honestly, that's the whole reason I still have this program. Don't buy it for that. If you don't already have it, figure out some other way to do this. But if you bought Photo Mechanic five years ago, install it just for this one very specific use case. Those are the seven programs that I install when I get a new computer. What am I missing? Let me know in the comments down below and good luck. I hope that you can get your new computer up and running nice and fast and get back to doing the you know photo thing, which is what we actually like doing. So thanks for watching.